Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on using the multiplayer setup I've created for Blender 2.57 components build. Now if you don't have this components build, you'll have to go to my website and download it. So the URL is http forward slash hostelstudios.com forward slash networking forward slash plugin.php Now you could follow the links on the website but I can't show you because fraps would be bizarre. So Go to this link and you'll see the tab called latest release. With latest release, you will then have, if I just double check, a link which says build plus Python files. So download this and not the one below it, because that's for updating users only. And once you've downloaded, you'll be presented with a zip file, which you should extract to your documents or your desktop. <coughs> Excuse me. Or your downloads. Extract the uh, zip file and run blender.exe. Then you'll be presented with this view. If you wait one moment. Oh. And here you go. Select the game logic view from the view panel and you'll see the default scene. So, the way multiplayer works, you have, a, you have a server which receives and sends all the client data that's being sent to it, and the client which sends all the data that you give it. For example, key presses, movement of objects, etc. This is a relatively simple version of multiplayer. It sends physical data rather than your inputs, and it's a non-authoritative server, which if you don't understand, ignore me. Um, so, Let's say we wanted to send the position of this cube. First, we'd add the connection to the server, which would be a empty, for example, with a component terminal dot client, and click add component. And I'll type it again up here for your benefit, and click add component. Next up, you need to tell the client that you want to send the position of this object. So you add a plugin by typing plugins.position underscore encode. Now what does this do? This, there is plugins here. Now this sends the tells a it want this tells the component that you want to use a plugin. Then position, this tells it that it's the position plugin and underscore encode, which tells it it's the sender position. Now, once you've added this component, you will see a series of options. Now, the only really important one for you today is the object scene. This tells the other clients what object should represent your current player, because it can't just add any object in the scene. Now, we're using a cube here, but we could be imaginative and go to a hidden layer and add a cone. Very imaginative. Now, the other players, to see this cone, would have to type, you would have to type cone in the object scene. And you're done. Now, the only thing you're left to do is, because you can reuse this blend for each client, you need to tell it what happens when it receives data. So go to the client empty, and type plugins.position, decode, and I'll copy that for your benefit again. Now this will decode any data sent from the encode plugin, and convert it into game object positions, etc. You can have as many encode plugins as you like in the scene. Lots of these cubes, copy and pasting them. But only one of these decoders and only one of these clients. Now, this is all ready to go. You just need to add a server. Save your blend. And then make a new file. And I'm going to load factory settings because I don't think it's very helpful. Game logic view. And on the default cube, type terminal server. And if I could type it would help. Which I'll again type up here. Oops. This receives any data on port 1000 here. And sends it to the other clients connected. It helps to show the console because you can